What's everyone? This is the Sale of the Terror of Death 99, aka the Black Cobra. And I am back for some more of let's put uh, more of my live stream of the fatal of the um Phoenix Wright live stream. AKA the fatal the um not fatal frame uh Phoenix Wright trilogy. Now we're working on the second game, Justice for All. Now, while you last left off, we had actually found out that Dr. Gray, who was actually Phoenix's client, was actually shot and killed. But he was also stabbed as well. And somebody has been trying to frame Maya Fay for the crime. We haven't been able to find out who yet, but I have a... I have a feeling I know who it is. Hmm. Felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. Hmm. Pearl. Tricks. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's got a heart. First order of You're really starting to piss me off, Miss Von Karma. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my last video, but this is actually the daughter of Frederick Von uh, of Manfred Von Karma. This is Francisca Von Karma. Occupation, if you please. say even though she only appears in one game she is by far the most annoying character in the entire franchise well one of them if not the most <sighs> anyway let's get down to the testimony Outside the door, and then bang, we heard this gunshot. The store lawyer there broke the door down, and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. Mm -hmm. 
I don't buy that. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. Take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place. Hmm. All right. Very well. Moment of truth. What will be in that picture? Let's take a look. Hmm. That does look like Maya. Something doesn't fit, though. True, there were only two people inside that room, but that's not what I'm focusing on. Something is not right. I'll clear all doubt about Maya through this course examination. Mm. Was it really only the, those two that went in? Alright, alright, shut up, Miss Von Karma. <sighs> I'm not! Jesus Christ. Yes, I know that. This feel like an inquisition.
Something's not right. Hana, please think back to the day one more time. Remember what you said when you broke when we broke into the room? saw the murderer at that time. You couldn't even tell if it was my affair or not, am I correct? Good. This shifts things back to my side. Huh? Hmm. We don't know that entirely. It was Maya that went in, but was it actually Maya who committed the murder? That is what we're about to find. That's what we're trying to find out. The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Is there really is there no one is there really no one else in there? What about Hmm Something doesn't fit. Behind the folding screen, did you check back there? not right. Something is up with her testimony. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant.
Damn it. Nothing, Your Honor. I didn't say anything about giving up. <laughs> I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. done yet. Far from it. The defense. Mia! What the? Pearl! Uh-uh. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to have requested the witness testify one more time. Damn it! Please tell us one more time, once more, what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Hmm. I broke into the, into the room. All I could focus on was Maya. I scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. Okay. She says she's really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts, yet she claims to be a paranormal photographer. That makes absolutely no sense. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Some parts of her testimony are very vague. I should press her on those act on those sections. Hmm. What did she look like? different person? I don't buy that. Maya Faye did go into the room, 
but we don't know if it was her who killed Dr. Gray. Did you happen to see anything else? Perhaps the body wasn't Dr. Gray's at all. What if it was that of, the, of my F.A. after the channeling? Or maybe... Still persists in being a paranormal photographer? Hmm. She goes through jobs faster than the baby goes through diapers. I am staying on topic. Von Karma. <sighs> Two, right? Two shots. You took two shots. Gotcha. Where is the other picture you have been withholding? Why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? What? Von Karma! Withholding evidence? Unforgivable, Miss Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this, you're just as bad as your father. that Prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. Yes, Ms. Von Karma. You're withholding crit critical evidence that is within contempt. You hid evidence from the court on purpose. That's not fair. No, I know what I'm I know what I'm doing, Mia. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? Personally, I think it is important. How can you think? more trouble than it's worth? Okay, good. B! 
Bingo! Got it! I knew it! That's not my... It's obviously the second picture the witness took that, that day at the scene of the crime. Oh, we can see the vic we can see the defendant's face. I think the important point here is the picture in this the person in this picture. This is most definitely not my affair. What is the meaning of this? That is not Maya. <laughs> Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person in this picture is not Maya Faye. <laughs> exactly, Your Honor. There is only one conclusion that can be drawn, then. That somehow, this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. <laughs> Bingo. By that, huh? What? Miss <laughs> Fong Karma. Karma, a word if I may. Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that. Picture cannot be submitted as evidence. What? I don't think so. Uh uh. No. No, no, no. <sighs> Damn it.
gotcha! Your Honor, this picture, within this picture was a critical contradiction to all this testimony up until now. Gladly, Miss Von Karma. You want proof? I got it. Please direct your attention here. That is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Gotcha! Where's the blood? And, more importantly, where is the gunshot residue? There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. You intended to hide this valuable piece of, inf of evidence, Miss Von Karma? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. I have no intention of jumping the gun. If those fools send me down. Well, where is the bullet hole then? She's lying through her teeth, I know it. That woman knows about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. No, I don't think it's fascinating. I think it's nothing but a sham. No. No, no, no. I'm gonna take you down if it's the last thing I do, Miss Von Karma. When the defendant had was, was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. Your Honor, there's only one logical explanation for this contradiction. Defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person's clear this person's clearly does not. There can only be one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether.
sure about that? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Is very two very big questions. First, where did the, did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? I have no intention of falling apart. Never. Turn things around. That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Where did this intruder appear from? And where did Maya just appear to? I need to look at this situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove that either one of those contradi of those conditions were true, I think what happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Maya left the channeling chamber at some point, and the defense can prove it. Games there with me, Miss Von Karma. Do you remember this key? Bingo. Maya locked the door from the inside with it. Bingo. <laughs> if Maya Faye had locked it uh, locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. That means that, that Maya Faye must have left the room. 
If she did not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. <laughs> An impasse indeed. It was a perfect. It was a fall on your father's perfect case as well, because he was a murderer. <laughs> Never lost a case. Well, I'm afraid there's a little thing that you're gonna have to do, and that's accept a loss. Nobody is perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. That's a good point. Which means that... Actually, I know, but I'm not going to reveal it just yet. I will reveal it, but not yet. What happened in that room, for instance? sheltered oh we're not done yet not even close I should mention that this is only case number two of the first of the second game and we're not even close to finished I had to come and look for into a few things here today anyway. Huh? <laughs> no, she did not. already naturally short, so... <sighs> Francesca. That's an understatement. I would miss tomorrow's trial for the world. You wouldn't have to know anything about who the murderer is, would you? I was just thinking earlier. Hmm. She didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearls and what was she doing? And on top of that, this key. 
Just when did she pick it up? It's a long time ago. He's not around anymore. He clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely and died for it. I just realized I never asked you what you were doing at the time of the crime. Pearl, where were you with, and what were you doing when the murder happened? Magatama. Clearly. About this key, Pearl. You found it on the day of the murder, right? Now, where were you? Where you found this key is very important. So please tell me, Pearls. Where did you find this? The incinerator? Hmm. She talking about the one in the garden? was that? After the channeling, huh? Hmm. Me, Morgan? Hmm. Ah. Let's keep it a secret from her, then. Incinerator, huh? Sounds like a good place to search next.
Wait a minute. I see something. Someone by the incinerator. What the? Any? What's up? You're all out of breath. One thing I should mention, everyone. Do not be fooled by this woman's personality. She's not who she says she is. What I meant to say was, do not be fooled by someone's personality, because you never know who they might actually be. All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. Other than that, it's not very interesting. Now, we're gonna check out that incinerator. Pearl said she found this key inside the incinerator. I guess I should take a look inside for myself. Whoa! Uh-oh! That's the piece of Maya's costume. The one that's covered in blood. Oh, boy. Bingo! Some Someone tried to burn this. And this key was also found in there. I got a feeling this incinerator played a crucial part in, the, in this murder. Hmm. Is there some kind of legend connected with that urn? Hmm. Religious treasure. Exactly called romantic. If that urn is really as important as she says, it could be a vital clue. Eeny. Wanna ask you about the murder? Dr. Grace, remember? As if there's another one. Introduce Dr. Gray to Korean Village. No relation, sure. Even if you're only acquaintances, it, but still, that still means you knew him. Furthermore, your sister, who died in that accident, was a nurse at his clinic. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Here we go. Why don't you tell me about your sister's fatal accident? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I can. Uh-oh. Psychox. Looks like I'm gonna need something to pry your mouth open on this one.
minutes. I gotta see something. So there's a spirit in the urn, huh? Hmm. Oh, I see her a bunch of cards. Wait a minute! A message. Morgan's here too, but she hasn't noticed me yet. What is she doing? Looks like she's talking to a picture. This part's gonna be very important, everyone, so pay close attention. Pay attention to the text as well. I'm not gonna be skipping any of this. This part. 